The mass diagram sheet represents an algebraic summation of accumulated earthwork. Basically, it's a line graph showing the cubic yards of unclassified excavation, cut, and embankment, fill, needed to complete the project. This graph makes it clear to the contractor as to when and where material is or isn't available. The graph is measured in cubic yards and stations. The data is divided by the sheet estimates. Sheet estimates are subtotals of the entire earthwork. Each sheet estimate tells you the station limits, the unclassified excavation, the embankment, unclassified borrow, or excess excavation. The unclassified borrow is how much material is needed to be brought in to complete the required embankment or fill and excess excavation is excess material that could be used on other areas of the project or hauled off the project. When hauled off the project, excess excavation will be shown on the summary of earthwork as waste. Notes will also be provided on the summary laying out the designer's intentions concerning the movement of excess excavation to satisfy an unclassified borrow area. As the mass line rises, so too does the volume of material. This indicates more material is being excavated than is being placed in the fill. When the mass line decreases, so too does the volume of material. This indicates more material is needed in the fill than is being excavated. If you look on the graph, there are four horizontal lines with feathers and arrows. Between each arrow and feather, there is sufficient material in the excavation to construct the required fill. In other words, this portion of the project is balanced. The direction of the arrow indicates direction of grading or hauls to the contractor. If an area of unclassified borrow is shown on the mass diagram, excess excavation may be used to reduce the unclassified borrow amount. If there is an insufficient amount or no excess excavation material, unclassified borrow material located outside the project limits will be required to complete the project. Other items which are noted on the mass diagram sheet are bridge locations. Please note that these are not the actual bridge begin and end stations. Below the graph, there may be notes added for contractors or other readers. These notes will contain information important to the reader for grading the project.